Good morning YouTube. I wanted to show you how easy it is to add additional operating systems to the Berry Boot OS loader. And so what I've done is I have a USB thumb drive down here and I've downloaded some images from Alex Goldscheidt's webpage. He has a whole bunch of Berry Boot images that he's pulled off of GitHub. So one of them I put on here is the PyTop OS. And we're mounting the SSD right there. So let's go to the edit menu here. These are the ones I've installed already. So I've got Octopi, OpenELEC, I've got the Raspbian desktop, and a couple others. I was unable to load off of the network from uh, Alex's site because he stores the files or the boot images in a compressed tar file and Berry Boot doesn't work with those, so you need to download them and then either put them on a network drive or a network share. And I wasn't able to get that to work. I, I couldn't mount my Synology NAS, so what I've done is just put them on the thumb drive. And you can get to those here. So import image from USB stick. And there's my images. I don't know if you can see those, but let's see. I want to go here. I'll go to PyTop. So I just double click on that. So we're copying the file from the thumb drive over to the SSD. So what I did was I downloaded the image from Alex's site and then ran it through WinRAR to extract it to the image file and then I copied the image file over to the thumb drive and now I'm copying it from the thumb drive over to the SSD. The thumb drive is SDA1 and the SSD inside is SDA2. Takes a few minutes here and it's actually copying the file and installing it on the SSD as a file system. So it's a complete ready to boot file system at that point. And it's, a, it's about a two gigabyte file. So, I mean, it's going to take, take a little while because you're basically re reading off the thumb drive at about 20 to 30 megs a second and writing to the SSD at around 35. There we go. Let's just go and uh, select that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make that the default. So if I don't do anything, it's going to automatically boot into the PyTop OS. And I can go in here. You can change your GPU memory allocation there. Let's see. And then I have to exit. So you have to go back to the Berry Boot loader. So it basically reboots at that point. And if I don't do anything here, it should boot into the PyTop or Polaris operating system. Let's just see if that works. There it's got PyTop Polaris. Three, two, one. See it automatically boots. And this will be a, a new boot. There we go. And now, just that easy, I've loaded a new operating system. Problem type of host device. That's interesting. Yeah, so here's the all the configuration, because this is a brand new first time booting. So let me go through and get everything configured here, and we'll come back and take a look at it. Okay, and there we're all set up. I can go up here now. There's your desktop. We've got Wi-Fi running. Yeah, so it's just that easy to uh, get that set up. Did a little searching, and it turns out the PyTop OS has a special shutdown program, and this whole assembly here actually provides power to the Raspberry Pi through the USB port there, and they have a special shutdown command that turns this off which then turns off the Raspberry Pi. So let's see if that actually works here. So I'm going to come up here and do the shutdown here. And let's see if this shuts down. Okay, so that's still, it doesn't work under the Berry Boot. So that's interesting. 
So I can come over to the keyboard and if you hold the key down the power does go out. But that's something I'll have to remember is that it doesn't automatically power down. But let's see, we can watch here. So we've got the SD card booting. So you can see the SD card and now the SSD is active. And so we can go there. We'll just hit the enter. Yeah, that boots up pretty fast. Yeah, we'll have to see what this hardware manager service, and that might be might be related to that power down thing. So yeah, that'll be something to look into. So we have sound. I want to see if this will turn on the speaker down there. Yeah, there's probably some issues with that. Yeah, there's still some problem here with the PyTop Hardware Manager Service. And there we go, the mouse works. So Bluetooth works, just the audio. I don't get anything on the audio connection here. Let's go shut down and we'll do a reboot. Let's see if that works. So here I'm doing a reboot. So reboot works, but yeah, I'll have to figure out how to get this hardware device manager thing working here. Yeah, you can see we've got 428 gigs left out of 458, so they put 30 gigs of OS partitions here, but you don't see those. You only see, like this is the PyTop partition. You don't see the other operating systems that are loaded. So I guess they share they share the hard disk among all the OS's that are loaded. So you don't have to dedicate 50 gigabytes to this OS and 50 to that. You just share the whole disk. So they must grow the file system as needed. The thing I might look at is Berry Boot on the SD card seems to have a config.txt file that gets loaded and then PyTop OS which is coming off the SSD has its config.txt so maybe some of the settings from this config.txt need to get copied over to the SD card config.txt Okay, YouTube, we have solved part of the mystery here. It was kind of what I expected. So let me show you what I had to do to get the PyTop OS to load properly with Berry Boot. So we'll go to Edit Menu here. As I suspected, you need to go into the config.txt file that Berry Boot loads. So here's config.txt. And let's see, what was up here? DT, oh, audio, enable onboard audio. Oh, maybe I need to turn that one off. We'll turn off that one. And then if we go down here, what I had to do, so this is a bunch of the settings that they have. This is one I added. So I added USB max current equal one to enable the 1.2 amp current. And then here's the two settings that PyTop used. One is DT param, and then the I2C1 equals on. So that turns on the I squared C interface. And then there's also DT param SPI equals on. So if you do those two, and then we'll do an exit, and come back into Berry Boot. Yeah, may, there may be some more setting differences in there, but let's see what this does. Boy, that boots really fast, though. That's pretty nice. So let's go over here. So, I, uh, so one thing you'll notice, up to the top, we've got the battery indicator. So that works. Display, so we have battery indicator. So we're using about 7 watts of power, and about an hour remaining. Let's see what sound has. Okay, let's try this now. Okay, to enable, let's reboot. Nope, still no audio. I don't hear the startup sound, so that is still not quite working right. But this actually does here, so let's do a shutdown. And you can see it's shutting down and it powered off. Several options, so the battery indicator's working, the power down is working. 
The only thing that's not working is the internal speaker. But yeah, I guess that's, that's progress. Maybe I'll have to look at the rest of the config.txt file and see if there's any options or settings in there that are different. Yeah, so we'll have to look in here and see what things are here. So there's various parameters to enable internal hardware interfaces. Yeah, so there's there are a bunch of settings here that I might need to look at. Well, let's see. That's the one I turned off. Audio on. Enable serial. Yeah, so I might need to move some more of these settings over to the Berry Boot config.txt. Let me plug in the charging adapter. Oh yeah. Battery charging shows up there. Now it shows charging. Yeah, I just wanted to look at what the battery shows now. Yeah, so there shows charging at 11 watts. That's really nice. Shows 134 minutes to charge. So that's all working now. You can see everything powers down. The uh, Raspberry Pi, the displays shut off. Everything's powered down. So that's that's good. So the only thing missing is the internal speaker. And I saw some posts on the PyTop forum that talks about that. So I'll have to maybe do a little research, see if anybody's figured out how to get that working with the uh, PyTop OS on top of Berry Boot. But no longer getting the warning message and all the battery, power supply, charging stuff is all working. So anyway, if uh, anybody has any ideas on getting the internal speaker support working, uh, post up in the comment section below. And if I find out anything, I'll post a video update on that. And as always, thanks for watching.